I mean, you're not putting a prison. I mean, you're not saying a drug addict. I mean, you're not saying a kind of blood clad thing, but I'm in love with them. Stumbling block in my life. Then the words we strive. One day at a time to give more blessing. Even in abundance, sorry, ain't got nothing. Still a call for me king. It's more blessing. Give thanks to life, loot, and fair present. The mindset. Blessed love, manners, and respect. Do give thanks and praise for the life. This is the Mindset Program, I guess I am your host, and I'm here with a great honor to be here with the Honorable Muta Baruka. Yeah, man, give thanks, man. Rasta Pan. Yes, I give thanks. First and foremost, I want to congratulate you on your lifetime oh, achievement. Yeah, I repent. Yes. But we don't get it yet. We don't get it yet. No, it's the 24th. The mindset, thought provoking, you know. I'm your host, and I'm I just start and we're there with our brand new mindset series live on the YouTube. Subscribe, I just start mindset channel, YouTube. Blessed love.
slap to face the judge. Yeah, the man said him dep on street again. Sounds of Buju Bantana, La and Ada. That is the title of that track there. Zin and I want to greet the item in the divine name of his Imperial Majesty, Emperor Il Selassie the first, Empress Men in the first. One welcome in those beautiful and divine name. One more day above ground, and we're here giving thanks and praise for life because life is the greatest, not no greater than that. All right, so what we are looking on in the day, yeah, we are looking on um, reggae and dancehall artist Mark Myrie, popularly known as Bujo Bantan. Zil. Born July 15, 1973, in Kingston, Jamaica, Bujo Bantan, one of Jamaica's most prolific reggae and dancehall artists over the years, and probably still is, right? And we are going to look on some things, see? Because Bojo Bantan forward in the music from about 1987. And about 1992, people start to really vibrate and gravitate towards Bojo Bantan music. See? And we know that Buju Bantan, Buju Bantan was one of, when he came on the scene, was one of the hottest young artists in Jamaica, in the Caribbean, and probably in the whole world regarding to reggae music. See? And... Forwarding, him dropped two album, two album, Miss I Mention and Stamina Daddy, and them two album they now propel him and really cement himself as a reggae and dancehall artist. See, as a reggae and dancehall artist because. Looking at looking at Bojo Bantan in a them time, I remember when you know him come out and, and thing and him there out there. And he was one of the most militant is young artists that I saw. And reason why I say that is I remember um a, a, a stage show at Prison Oval. And Mad Cobra was on that stage show at Prison Oval. Also, Buju Bantan was at the stage show. And Buju Bantan, as I said, was the hottest young artist in Jamaica at the time. And Cabra, Mad Cobra was an artist who was out there already. Zane. But... Yeah, I would say hot, hot also, you know what I mean? Hot also. But we had known Mad Cabra to be a type of clash and, you know, aggressive type of artist. And Buju did have a lot of songs, or a few songs out there already, where he could really hold him on. You understand? And Mad Cabra wanted to clash him and him refrain and one of the statements that really stand out was I know clash with no guy I clash with a girl and you know that was a big talk you know from the Gargamel see but that really stand out for I man with Buju Bantan from them time there Zane as an artist that was coming up in the ranks and 
when you say that you did know say something was different from this artist because yeah, it wasn't just the typical dancehall artist you know what i mean him did go right across the board even from those early days is not when him became rasta in the sense where that is what him, him mostly did a project you know what I mean? Him image and you know his words sound the type the, the music then when start to make. It's from early out. You did hear them vibe there from him. Zin from early out. You know what I mean? Murder and all of them song there. Those songs are from early out. You know? So, till Shiloh, in the Heights, them album that come now, coming out in the in the late nineties, going into the two thousands, and kind of really establish Bojo Bantan now as a a Rastafari reggae artist or musician. See? Yeah. And him all aura and how him did that deal with the music they change because he might embark upon something new and different and him expresses within in music and you know him, him liberty. And you know it was a, it, 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 it was surprising for a lot of people and at the same time it was it was great to see. You know, seeing a hardcore dancer artist, you know, as some would, would describe him as, you know, uh, make a transition to to, to, to Rastafari. You know, it was a great, 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 great thing to see. And people had probably, you know, feel like said, boy, things would have gone downhill for him in making that transition there from, you know, a hot dancer artist. No, he might go into something that was mellow and, you know what I mean? But him still keep that dance all energy and vibe about him even though he was a rasta far right musician that him trans you know that was his, his transition zin but he still keep that side so till shiloh in a heights them album there bring it on a different level now far different level that you know, ones have to, you know, look on Bojo Bantan differently, differently, you know, because, you know, so I, I see Bojo perform several a time, you know, several a time here in the UK, a um, few times in a Jamaica and them places, you see me, I say? And there's no artist like the artist when he may perform. You see me? So last year I know I watched him Virgin the perform live. I perf I see him perform live in a um in a London yeah, in a day daytime in a East London. And we only wonder also was on that show and me I tell her. It was a day show, it was in the day and powerful, powerful. Powerful, powerful album. Powerful performance. You see me I say? Powerful performance from from the Gargamel. Yeah. Powerful. So all my songs, songs after songs, songs after songs and you know, songs after songs. And next major song was Driver. Zin. Driver was a major song 
um, in a, the Gargamel catalog and driver driver you know put a different perspective um pan the gargamel you know the, the when 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 you listen to the song and when you see the video of the song see enough people start to speculate and but the reality is what the song was singing about or saying those are the type of things that probably take place you know what i mean in a earth and one must not be biased and know some why those things i saw the thing probably go for real you see me i say and you have the big guys them in the big position you know i saw them do it you see it so driver come out and you know it was controversial Zin, controversial to some, Zin, but you know the thing as Rasta, Rasta, you know, deal with herb on a sacramental level, Zin, yeah, sacramental, not pharmaceutical or what them call it now, medical and all of these things. So Rasta do you the thing on a different level and you know them always a persecute Rasta for this thing so anyhow Rasta can get the you know the people them have to feel nice and you know the thing go. So moving forward, you know, with the Gargamel and thing, the Gargamel um Get couple of Grammy Awards and thing, best album, I think in 2000 and 2010, I think. Yeah, something like that, 2010 or 2011. Zin, win about two or three Grammy, right? And um, doing well for himself as an artist over the years, you know, when you look upon him and you know. All the things them that you see him achieve and you know what I mean him 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 start to set an example from you know he made that transition from dancehall you know a hardcore dancehall artist to a Rastafari um, artist. See, then him you know getting a trouble with um with the law. Overseas law in a 2009. 2009, we see um, Bujubantan get arrested, and I think um, at the time, him, 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 him did a line up a tour where I'm, I'm, you know, I'm 95% sure that he was the one that was financing. You know, his tour, I think he was doing an America, American tour. Zane and he was the one who was uh, financing the tour. But during the process of the, uh, 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 the tour, getting on the road, you had um, the gay community who was lobbying against Bojo Bantan um, not to be on tour and not to be in america making money and 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 these things zane and i think the, the 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 tour the tour collapsed due to um the him being arrested now when he him, him, him get arrested and i think he was sentenced in um 2011 zane said you know all of that probably when invest if you go on tour, you know what I mean? All of them investment there, you know, who knows what happened, you know, if you recoup some of them or, you know, everything just went down drain. See, because he had a lot of show on, right? And the gay community lobby for um, stop the whole thing. See, and next thing you know, you hear that the Gargamel 
um, be in charge in possession or uh, 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 um, uh, drug trafficking or some sort of the sort. But something to do with drugs. I mean, them, them claims a boy, um, them caught him with drugs or him involved in dealing with class A substance in America. Zin and straight away you would have kind of wonder why you know you have said Bojo Bantan really and truly but the man they are Rasta them all the man they involved in a um, class A drugs and you know it does not sound it does not sound right because you know say Rasta not involved in a them something there Zin even though you might hear rumors of you know past um rasta entertainers you know what i mean who you know rumors spread that it involved in them something in terms of you know smoking it and and and, and thing but um buju bantan is a rasta man where is a is 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 a, a third generation of rasta man zane where you know you know look for ear him involved in a them something there you understand you know look for hear them thing there no matter what i go on because you know, say no man them are entertaining them and them man have money and thing already why them man there as a rasta man would i want to get involved in a something like that you know what i mean but then again you have to you have to you have to think back on and, and things about um but you have certain people who did a fight against um Buju Bantan. Zin, you have certain people who did a fight against Buju Bantan from a long time. But why did um so now you have to remember this you know so alright Buju Bantan him get arrested and him got a prison and thing. See now no man no perfect you know every man make mistake everyone make mistake zeal so because ones make wrong decision you find out say it are going to result in a situation where um your credibility and your character are going to be in question you know especially as as a rasta man and fi 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 be linked now with with cocaine and say boy um the rasta man and sell cocaine and all of them thing there you know say fans are gonna lose respect um ones you know within the community a rasta far right you know i go i go i go lose respect you know what i mean if if that is the case if i saw it really go if that is the reality all right so the virgin go go and go and do him time and him spend him time zil and him forward out back i think 2018 couple of years now zil but why did he really why did he really went to prison zil what was really what what was the the, the 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 main reason is it because as them said drug because um buju bantan sing a song and from him sing a song him sing um boom bye bye funny did that song um him come under a whole heap of pressure and I think the the pressure the pressure and the fight that him commander has mortalized the song boom bye bye. Zim would I love it would be interesting for know if him get royalties from from that song or that song is a song where them ban and them decide say boy them not give him nothing because him 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 a him uh, insight violence so to speak see um 
it would be interesting to know if that song get any royalties or that song get any views or you know what I mean what you know what really happened with that song if him get paid if him is still being paid for that song because after so much years that song has been a problem to a lot of people who take offense to the song seen so what really sent the Gargamel to prison? Was it, was it drugs or was it the song? Was it the song from them a long time there? Feelings are carry and people still have him up in a them heart. And it look, it, 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 it look a way that, you know, this bridging sing this song for how much years I go and you know him 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 move on as an entity and I'm probably still do the song and but him him a tour and him a, him move on with him life. You know what I mean? It's just a song that he did. Right? But it look a weird for some people to see that, you know, this virgin is still making money. Is still touring, is still how, how can that be? And you know, I feel like the powers that be who was always lobbying against him um, probably bring him down. Bring him down. And who knows? Probably frame the virgin because it, 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 it all right. It was interesting, very interesting, because I watch her. The Virgin got prison, him do him time. Zane, him go prison and him do him time. Would it, would it now, my question now is, should it really matter? Should it matter if he was innocently sent to prison? For something he didn't take part in or him never involved in. Should it should it should should it matter that him go there innocently? Should it matter to people? Should it matter to him that him don't say anything about him being locked up innocently? If he did went there innocently, should it some should should that matter to anyone? Should it really matter to him? Should him just look upon it and say, boy, this is something that it I in the past and it gone and you know what I mean, me know say boy, you know, me did innocent and them send me and lock me up for nothing. Should it matter that if he was innocent and them send him to prison innocently? Should it matter? Or it shouldn't matter? That, that is the question I may ask. Should it matter or it shouldn't matter? See? Should it matter? Or it shouldn't matter? Because one song, one song, one song has become the biggest problem. One song. And the song never killed anyone before. The song never killed a person before. The song play and people dance to the song. But the song never killed anyone. The song play and people dance. But the song itself. Boom, bye, bye. Never kill anyone. It's a strange and weird thing. The song has never killed anyone. I don't think any song is designed to kill people. But because the virgin, um, from the virgin, from the virgin forward out, Zin, he never mentioned anything anything about 
about about the whole thing and I know probably that I know something where a man really I go really want to reflect upon. You know what I mean? So I want to go probably really talk about it. You understand? But what if him, him, him did go go there innocently and now him just really I come out and I make people know say really and truly them lock him up innocent. Cause from the other day when we notice, you know, when we notice, me see a whole lot of people, a whole lot of people are born out, are, are, are born out Budget Banton and they must say a whole lot of things and really and truly, me not feel like it's a fear thing for no say this Virginia, this Virginia go to prison and he probably go to prison innocently. Zane, innocently and doing time just for singing a song it look like and really and truly them probably frame the virgin because you know the powers that be them have them capability there can put nothing past them Zane and him know that and him, him probably have to just you know keep everything on the down low but him probably face a boy, he not have to keep nothing no more on the down low. See? And him just have open up here now. Because in all of the interview them, he hear people, people interview him. See? But them give him that respect they said way. From him come out, people interview him. And them give him that respect not to really question him about the whole prison business and 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 drug business you understand no one no really ask him about it and he no really talk about it see but him says something where you know brought i'm on attention yeah brought i'm on attention and bojo i drop a whole lot of gems from the other day and you have to really Listen to him, listen and pay attention to where I say keenly. Because I must say a whole part thing, but some people feel like a joke in my mouth is an entertainer. See? But just because them lock him, lock him up, him lose respect. Zane, as I said, from the Rastafari community, from him friends, for the allegation of him involved in a selling drugs as a Rastaman. Because the truth is that Rastaman, you know, why it looks so bad, you know, upon him and people are going to lose respect, you know. This is, this is, you see how, 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 how serious this thing is? Zane and the people, them, where I lobby against him, oh, oh, yo. Watch this. But I want to listen to what Bojo say. Keenly. See? Listen to what Bojo is saying. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm going to put on a walk out in a cell, you know. And I can't make no no say. What I'm saying? I'm going to put on a walk out in a cell, you know. What I'm saying? I'm going to put on a walk out in a cell, you know. I'm a child. Him say, them put him in a, in a, in a, in a lockup, innocently. Them put him in a workhouse, innocently. Now, at the first time from Bujubantan Touch Street, me hear him say anything like that. Them put him in lockup, innocently. That's I'm gonna put on a house in a cell, you know. And I can't make you no know, no say. Then put him in a lockup innocently. House in a cell, you know. And I can't make you no know, no say. House in a cell, you know. And I can't make you no know, no. You hear the man say? House in a cell, you know. I'm gonna put on a house in a cell, you know. 
I wanna put I never cause in a sense, you know. I wanna put I never cause in a sense, you know. I wanna put I never cause in a sense, you know. I wanna put I never cause in a sense, you know. I'm a child. Make on a no say. I wanna put I never cause in a sense, you know. I'm a child. I wanna put I never cause in a sense, you know. I'm a child. I wanna put I never cause in a sense, you know. Yeah, Virgin said, and put him in a workhouse innocently. See? Innocently. That the God of Mel said. And he must say that to no interviewer. Zin. He said that upon him. IG. He said, I'm going to put him in a workhouse innocently. So a man must know whether I'm do or commit a crime. You know? And if a man do a crime and him do the time, him do the time. But a man can be locked up innocently. Do the time for something that him not involved in a none at all. Zin, why him have a game out of Say boy, him do something knowing that him do it and still I come out and I say boy, him never do it. Where am I going to gain out of that? He never have nothing to gain. But him know say, him never do something and him can freely say, him never do it. Because him now have nothing to lose. Because him already do the time for something that he never did. My people, no check where I go on, you know. Zin, no check where I go on. We're not living in a fear world, yeah. Zin? Yes, I mean, I mean, I'm mean, going to put in a prison. I'm going to see a drug addict. I'm going to see a kind of blood, blood, blood clotting, but, but I'm going to love the most. most. Yes, I mean, I mean, you're not put in a prison. I mean, you're not see a drug addict. I mean. Yeah, yeah, the man said him, them put in a prison. But him love them the most. Yeah, and I write this with them, my people. Yeah, man, write this with the Mindset program. I just star. I'm your host. And I want to say, man, as I respect, peace, and love. Um, if it's the first time, um, I want the item to check out um, the Mindset Roots coming to the item very soon. Mindset Roots, look out for it, you know. Look out for it. Yeah, if it's the first time the item, um, I plug in on the platform here. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. So whenever time we're there, the item can be notified and so the item can tune in. Zin, so please browse the con the channel for more credible content. Mosai, Celestia, Ja, Rastafari.